What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and today it looks like we have a ton of news of what could possibly happen in the Fantastic Four film as well as who could be the actual cast including who could be playing Doctor Doom and Galactus and the Silver Surfer, which is truly exciting because we know that a Silver Surfer special presentation is coming pretty soon and Galactus is supposedly going to appear or at least be hinted at in the Fantastic Four film. So there's a lot to dive into today, so let's just jump right into it. Now, first and foremost, if you haven't heard the reports, we are supposed to be getting the Silver Surfer in the MCU before the Fantastic Four movie. Like I mentioned, it is most likely going to be a special presentation, according to the most recent reports from some insiders. These reports also state that Galactus is supposed to appear in the MCU before phase seven. And these reports do state that he isn't exactly going to be a big bad in the MCU before phase seven. So make no mistake, even though Galactus could come to the MCU in the multiverse saga, Kang the Conqueror is the big bad of the multiverse saga. Nobody else. Now there might be some other villains, but they won't take the main spotlight. In fact, in this video, we'll talk about two villains who will be a part of the multiverse saga, but will be big bads in the next saga. But first let's go into the casting news that we've recently heard. Now, here's the deal. These leaks are coming from 4chan, so they are posted anonymously, supposedly from some insider that has heard a lot about the casting for the Fantastic Four, and that includes the villains. And even though this is extremely interesting, take it with a grain of salt because it hasn't been officially confirmed yet. So right off the bat, it says John Krasinski is not Reed Richards in the MCU. Not the main one, at least, in the Fantastic Four film that is coming, because of course we've already seen Reed Richards in the MCU. And this doesn't come as too big of a surprise. We already knew this. We knew that Kevin Feige really threw John Krasinski as Reed Richards into Multiverse of Madness for fan service. In an interview about the movie, he pretty much stated that outright. He thought it would be fun because the fans were all casting him as Reed. And it was cool. However, that Reed doesn't really matter to the MCU at all, especially now because he's dead. Now, there are two names that have been thrown around a lot for the casting of Reed Richards, and you probably have heard these reports slash rumors. These names are Ryan Gosling and Adam Driver. Now, Ryan Gosling's name has been thrown out there for a little bit now. It's clear that he met with Marvel Studios at this point. However, there are multiple reports stating that he's been cast for very different roles. Some have been Sentry, some have been Reed Richards, of course. However, this report says that he is in talks to play the Silver Surfer. Now, like always, when I mention somebody is in the running to be a certain character in the MCU, I want to know your thoughts. So right away, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Now, as far as what he would sound like, he would definitely have to be talking in a very calm demeanor, but of course be able to take it up a notch when he fights, which Ryan Gosling is perfectly capable of doing. And as far as the figure is concerned, we know that Ryan Gosling can get super ripped. He's done it plenty of times. In fact, right now he should already be super ripped because he's playing Ken in the Barbie movie. Now, this leak says that Silver Surfer was originally a part of the Fantastic Four movie draft, but is unsure on whether or not the Silver Surfer will be in the actual film. But this does go on to say that Gosling, if he signs, will appear as the Silver Surfer in a special presentation. So further backing up what we've already heard. Now, the next two names for Galactus and Doctor Doom, I must say, I actually really like. And we'll start with Doom. You may have heard Adam Driver's name for Reed Richards, but apparently he's in the running to play Dr. Doom. And I can already see this now. I already see Kylo Ren without the face mask on with the hood over him looking like Doom. Just change his cloak to green and I can really see Adam Driver as Doom. I really loved him as Kylo Ren. I think a lot of people did. And I think if he brought that same energy to the role, he would make an incredible Doctor Doom. This also does back up some reports that we've heard from some other insiders. I believe Grace Randolph was the first person to say that Disney was eyeing some actors from the Star Wars franchise to appear in the Fantastic Four. And of course, since both Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios are owned by Disney, it makes it really easy to kind of meet with actors and talk to them about roles, but also at the same time, keeping it within the Disney family. So I actually think that there could be a pretty decent chance that this could happen. So of course, let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Now, as far as the casting for Galactus goes, there are two names that are mentioned here. One is all right, but one I must say I would really love to see happen. The first name mentioned is Dennis Quaid. 
And although I am an extremely big fan of the work that he's done in film and on TV, I'm not so sure how I feel about this. I feel like I would prefer somebody like Liam Neeson, especially as far as the voice for Galactus goes. Now we're unsure at this point in time if Galactus is going to be CGI and simply these actors are going to voice Galactus, but I think it makes sense for the actor to actually portray Galactus and have the face of the actor. So I'm a little on the fence about this. However, the other name, I would be really excited for it. It is Keanu Reeves. One, I think his voice would suit Galactus very well. It wouldn't exactly be like we've heard so far from video games and from animated series, but I think his voice would suit Galactus very, very well. I'd also love to see him physically act as Galactus as well, because remember Galactus isn't necessarily bad. In fact, Eternity, the cosmic entity, said that he was a necessary part of the universe and that he actually provides balance. Now, I'm sure he'll be depicted as evil in whatever movie he appears in, because of course he's most likely going to be coming to devour Earth. So that would make him a bad guy to everybody on Earth. And according to this report, he could be the main villain of the Fantastic Four film, which makes perfect sense. He is an iconic Fantastic Four villain. But so is Doctor Doom. However, the last three Fantastic Four films that we got from Fox had Doctor Doom as the villain. And yes, one of them had the Silver Surfer and Galactus, but we don't really count that Galactus because it really wasn't Galactus. So due to that fact, Kevin Feige might want to stay away from having Doctor Doom be the main villain of the new Fantastic Four film and have Galactus be the main villain. And I'm all for this because I actually think that Doctor Doom would make a better big bad villain than Galactus actually would. Because Galactus kind of just has one purpose. He sets out to devour planets. He has his heralds that scout out planets that would be good for him to devour, and that's his thing. And honestly, it's epic, but it's quick, at least when it comes to Earth. And I really like what they're doing with Kang now, having him appear in multiple films and TV shows before he finally arrives for his big movies. Thanos was great, but he was kind of just teased throughout the entire Infinity Saga, and then he appeared in the last two films. If they went with Galactus, it would probably have to be like that, showing him kind of coming to Earth and then eventually arriving at Earth. However, there is so much to Doctor Doom. He is one of the most powerful sorcerers that have ever been in Marvel history. Plus, he has major ties to the Fantastic Four, also the Avengers, and he also has a link to Kang. In fact, Kang's armor in the comics is based off of Doctor Doom's armor, who he is believed to be a descendant of in the comics, depending on which story you follow. He can also interact a lot more with the people on Earth and with the different superhero teams than Galactus could, which is why I think he would be much better suited to play a big bad of an entire saga rather than Galactus, although I'm excited to see both of them. Now, one of the last things that it says is the Fantastic Four members are going to be in their 30s minus Johnny, aka the Human Torch, who will be in his 20s. And this makes perfect sense because Johnny is the younger brother of Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman. And this kind of lines up with what Kevin Feige told us about the Fantastic Four, stating it's not really going to be a true origin story. So if they do show us the Fantastic Four who are a little bit down the line already, it would make sense that they would be kind of older. And I personally would like to see an older Fantastic Four because Reed Richards is the smartest man alive and I'd like to see him grown up and mature. But let us know what you think about this in the comments down below. And also just let us know what you think about the overall casting names that are thrown out there for many different characters of the Fantastic Four. So let us know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Stay up to date on the latest in the MCU. For live updates, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.